Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about creation and activations for new company in SQL accounting system. Start your SQL and at the login screen, we call this login screen where you need to select the company, key in the username and password. At this login screen, click on the three dot button next to company name. So as you can see, currently we only have the testing company. Try to do this in your server, let's say you are in a networking environment. So left hand side, you can see that create new database. Click on it, company name. Let's say the company name is called ABC and Rebel Hub. And please remember the database name. By default, it's ACC dash certain number 002 so on. do not I repeat do not use this okay repeat your company name maybe in short form let's say ABC is a member hard you just put ABC okay and what is the years for the creation or the year you want to start to use this SQL accounting system okay the reason why you need to put the company name instead of just the number itself is because let's say anything happened to this database and when we do support we need to know exact where is the physical location of this database example okay let's say something happened to abc and remember so and you cannot log in what we need to do is we need to physically go to c drive eStream, sql accounting if you still remember the db folder is contain all your database now you can see this is the ABC Sanremba Hut company actual physical database. If you have 10 company and all is 001, 002, then I ask you, which is the ABC database? You cannot answer, right? So that's why you should rename the database name to the actual company name so that anything happen later, it's easier for us to do support. Okay, because dealer will not help you check one by one which is the actual company you need to check yourself so that's why do this okay it's a very fast way and it's helped you a lot during support later on okay so now start your SQL and now you're able to select the new company we select ABC and remember hard and remember first time user username is admin password is admin okay this is SQL basically we have six main module GL customer supplier we call it accounting sales purchase stock we call it billing or stock module now the first thing when you log into your new database you need to go to tools you need to go to option you need to go to general ledger you need to set the financial start period and system conversion date you cannot, I repeat, you cannot and should not do anything before you set this correctly. Okay, the first thing is, what is your financial start period? Meaning that what is your financial year start month? Example, your financial year for your company is January until December. Then this should be your financial start period will be 0101-218 example, 1st of January 2018. Let's say you want to start to use this and want to key back starting from 2017, then you just change this to 2017. Okay. Or your financial year is from May until April. So May until April. So you need to put this off May 2017 or 2018. Okay. So this is according to your financial year. If you are a um, enterprise partnership so your financial year always January until December but if you are a Sandra Bahad then you need to know what is your financial year from when to when which month to which month and this is the starting month okay so let's make it easier to own it so if you don't know so what happened you just need to call your company secretary and get the actual financial start period okay now people will have questions over system conversion date 
normally financial start period and system conversion date should be the same okay system conversion date is actually when you want to start to key in inside sql or we put it in the accounting terms the opening so of course opening is same as the financial start period but what if your financial start period is first of january but you purchase SQL in October. Then, should you put October or should you put January? Then, I'll throw back a question is, do you want to re-key back the transaction starting from January? Okay, if you do not want to and you want to start from October, then you put October. And do remember, it always starts from first of the month, first day of the month. It will not be 23rd or 24th okay even though you start or you incorporate the company in 24th of october or something like that so it always start from first of the month then system conversion date as i mentioned when you want to start to key in the first transaction is from january or october so many people say of course october i would not want to key in but please be reminded if you put like this meaning that your Transaction starting from January until September is not inside the system. Maybe in another system. So what you need to do is you cannot use SQL for this particular year to submit for audit. You need to combine from October until December in SQL, combine with another data from other accounting system or in your Excel to submit for audit. So you decide it. If you think that, oh, then I should start from January and you keep back January. Okay. Can can you start from October or start from January? Sorry. Can I start from January? I key October transaction first, then only I key back January. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Just that the opening is not there. Um, maybe the customer outstanding is not accurate. That's all. Okay. So you decide. Or well, some people will do this way is they will start first of January okay but they will lump everything all the sales all the expenses in one journal entry also possible so it's purely up to you okay so if you do not know what i'm talking about easier way directly put first of january re key back okay because you don't know how to put opening access first of october okay still cannot remember or cannot understand talk to your dealer ask them to explain to you okay so this is compulsory to set it before you start anything you don't know you cannot confirm get it confirmed get it done first before you start anything because let's say you have key in certain transactions and you want to change the financial year you want to change the system conversion date you might face problem that you cannot change or you cannot edit so you have to force to delete all the transactions then change the date then only re-key back imagine you have 500 transactions you have key and you want to change and cannot change you want to delete 500 manually one by one then re-key back it is very tough for you okay remember first task after create the company is set the financial start period and system conversion date okay get this time first then second task is go to file company profile key in all your company information okay company name remarks registration number gst number and so on okay so let's simply put something example okay let's put this as example save this and go to file product activation okay because you are first time using so there's no product id yet and there's no activation code what you need to do now is print activation request okay this is the form click on the second icon which is the export icon export this file to pdf okay put at your desktop and give it a name is your company name as well activation request okay 
So convert it to PDF. This is the file. Email this file to your dealer. Okay. Within three working days, your dealer will send a activation code. Look something like this. It will have your product ID, your dealer's contact. Okay. Then over here is all the company that under your product ID. And most important here is what is the package you have purchased and how many concurrent user license. This is all the details. And please remember, you must get this from your dealer. No matter what, get this from your dealer. This is to secure that all the company is under your license. If you find out that there are certain company that is not you don't know which what is this company all about talk to your dealer what happened you do not have this dealer because there's limitations on the number of company let's say there's another company that is not belong to you and it is inside your activation code then you will last one company okay so talk to your dealer get this activation code form from your dealer and basically what you need to do is you just need to copy back the product ID and activation code to the SQL accounting system. Without activation code or without activate the database, you only can key in 500 transactions. So what you need to do is go back here, then just copy the product ID, highlight it, control C keyboard, is copy, go here, control V is paste, then for demo purpose, I'll replace it with my own company. So you can just copy paste. Okay. The company name, the product ID, the address one, two, three. Okay. After you paste everything, you can see that there is something called digit A7112. Your one will be different from mine, okay? So you can see that it matched 7112. So meaning that you just need to copy the activation code. So DGP is 3508. 3508, it matched DGP and press register. Okay. Then just go to company profile. You can see that your company name and the first address is in yellow color, meaning that this company already activated. Okay, now this is the detailed information and document report header. Just go to here. You can just set the report header. You can right click, reach text editor. You can change the font, put in other thing. This is the part where it will appear in all your document report header. That means the top part. Okay, and then some people will ask, hey, where can I put in my logo? You can come to this screen, right click it, load. Okay, just look from your uh, uh, picture file of your company logo. Let's say I'm using syntax. Syntax logo. So I get my logo and it will appear accordingly. So save it. Then you can start to use SQL accounting system. You can see that the company name have changed and so on. Okay, so basically this is how we create a new database and also how to activate it. Now, thanks again for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.